If your nib's too slow and your ink won't flow, here's one of the places that you can go. Larry is here to help you through with Mr. Announcer and Cubby too. It's Larry's Fountain Pen Review. Hey, welcome back. Larry here. Welcome back for another review. This time on the Lamy Joy Calligraphy Fountain Pen. As you well know, or if you don't know, they've come now in different colors. Uh, have some really nice cool colors. Uh, but this one I got back probably in 2016, 2017. Uh, I like the black and red going on. It looks really good together. And, you know, it has Lamy nicely done on the barrel of the end of the pen. It's just a nice looking long pen. Uh, it's got that long tapered black resin body. It's, it's, to me, it's just something that I like just to, to look at, to feel, because it's, to me, it's so incredibly long. Let's just say it's, it's longer than the Mont Blanc 149, for instance. It's just a, a cool pen. Um, it's got the red clip, and it has an inter, inter, uh, interchangeable silver stub italic steel nib, so the, the nibs pull off the cap are easy to come off. If you get some scotch tape, you can put it on the nib and it comes right off and then you can uh, try some other nibs uh, that Lamy carries like I said this is the 1.5 and then you can get the 1.1 stub and a 1.9 so that would be interesting they're a lot of fun uh, I don't do calligraphy I did try to learn and I was very unsuccessful but I thought I'm going to give it another shot, at least to have some fun with it and, you know, ink it up and do something with it. Now, when you get your Lumbee pens, first of all, let's go ahead and unscrew the barrel. It comes with a Lumbee cartridge. You have to buy your uh, Lumbee Z28 converters for your pens. So I'll just put that in there for right now. Close it back up. I do like the ink window. Let's me know I'm getting low of ink or not. Has a real nice grip section here. A lot of people just don't dig the grip section because of the way it's made. For me, it's just perfect. It's a nice large grip section. If you have huge hands, man, this is going to rock on your fingers. It's going to really be great. And uh, the nib is really extremely nice nib. I, you know, I just like the pen. I like the color. I like that red clip on it and at the end of the barrel. The red tip at the end. It just, to me, it just looks strapped. Nice looking pen. So this is the Lamy. And they're very affordable. You can pick them up for around 28 bucks. They're not expensive. Uh, I think the converter cost, I don't know, under 7 bucks. Or you can buy the cartridges if you want. Lamy. Or on the cartridges, uh, just get yourself an ink syringe and you can fill this one up with your favorite color ink and voila, off you go. So you have several different kind of ways to fill up your pen, so... So the length of this pen, close as you see, is 7.11 inches. Pull off cap, it does post nice and securely at 6.98 inches. And the weight of the pen is 17 G's. So that is the Lamy Joy 
calligraphy. So let's ink it up, and I'm going to use, what kind of ink am I going to use today, Mr. Announcer? This is Robert Oster's Gold Antiqua. Let's use some of that. Why not? I'm up for it. Here we go. I'm just scared like you are that it's going to tip over, right? And we'll get some more ink on that in the end. All right, that's a nice full converter there. Let a few drops out. Put that down. Cap that young and up. Isn't that right, my friend? That's right. All right. Calm down, guys. Calm down. All right. Be cool like your school, everybody. All right. All right. Now, if you're a fountain, fountain pen enthusiast, you know where I'm coming from. You're into fountain pens. End of story. So, let's get to writing here. That's the next thing to do. Right. So, and here we go. I'm going to post it. Why not? Here we go. Lummy Joy coming at you. That's really a nice nib. Alrighty, now I think I better write this down before I forget. Beautiful ink in it. Let me put a little ribbon over here. So here we go. Australia. But just do a little writing down in here. And we'll just do some little swirls here. Good ink flow. And wetness it should be nice and wet, as you see. So, here is the downstroke with the Lamy nib 1.5. And then the cross stroke. Then the cross stroke, wider downstroke. Now we'll get the Anderson nib out, the 1.5 stub, and we'll do compare them. Why not? Now stroke, cross stroke. Now, they look about equal, what do you think, on the down stroke? Pretty close, yes. On the cross stroke, this looks a little bit more wider. What do you think? Yes, it's definitely thicker. Yeah. So let's try it this way again on this. Okay, and we'll try this again with the Lamy. Yeah, it is thicker. They are different, yes. Yeah. So you're going to get a different line variation when you use, let's just say the Anderson Nib 1.5 compared to the Lamy 1.5 Italian pen, right? Okay, so nibs are made different. So, that's going to cover it. What's your thoughts on the Lamy Joy? Interesting fountain pen, to say the least. Uh, one thing, though, it has a clip, so I guess you can wear it there if you want, right? I guess. 
I've never done it. Uh, would it fit in your pen case? No, nah, it won't fit in my pen case too long. So, I, I've really never taken this pen out of the house because I always put my pens in a pen case. Uh, now, I, I, I guess I could put it in my shirt and take it with me somewhere. That wouldn't hurt. I might try that tomorrow even. So, what's your thoughts? Affordable, cool fountain pen. You have a few nib sizes to uh, change it out. It's a decent writer, very nice writer. Well, that's going to end this video for today. Thank you for hanging in there with me, my friends. Peace and love. Until my next video, as always, we want to wash our hands. And don't forget, peace, love, and don't text and drive. Bye-bye, my good neighbors. Uh.